Hi everybody, it's George. In this video, we're going to look at how would you see every file located within multiple subfolders. This is based off a post that I recently wrote. You can follow along at georgejmount.com slash search all subfolders. And I have it explained here. I wanted to do a video demonstration as well. I have this folder here with multiple subfolders, each of these containing files underneath it. And I just want them all in one master folder. So I'm going to do a control shift N insert new folder. I'll just call this master. Now I don't want to have to copy and paste out of all of these. In this case, maybe it wouldn't be so bad because there's like a dozen, but I mean, we could have tens or hundreds of these. So I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut in the search bar to actually see all files located in all of these subfolders. Then we can easily move them all out into this master folder. So I'm going to go up to our search bar here. If you type in asterisk, period, asterisk, this will give you everything in this folder. Every subfolder, every file. We're just going to select all the files. We see all the subfolders here, but we want to just pitch these subfolders. We don't really need them. We just want the files that are contained inside them. So I'm just going to select all of these. And I am just clicking my mouse and dragging on all of them. OK. I'm going to do a control X. And I'm just going to get out of this whole menu over there. Control V. And now these are all going to move to the new folder. So pretty neat trick. Instead of going through each subfolder, you can just do it at all in one fell swoop with that keyboard shortcut. So I hope that you can find some use from that. Please stop by georgejmont.com. Lots of Excel tips and tricks, but also analyst tricks in general. That wasn't really an Excel tip, but it's going to make you more efficient at work, going to make you a better analyst, so that's why it's on the blog. Ready to get hired with Excel? Please sign up, and uh, see you next time. Thanks.